In this video, I'm gonna show you guys everything you'll need to start a moto vlog channel in the year 2023. to be a very quick overview, a high level conversation. So if you guys have any questions, please ask them down below. I will have links to everything I list off in this video down below as well. First things first, if you are going to be riding a motorcycle and filming while riding your motorcycle, I highly suggest wearing a helmet. Helmet laws differ in various parts of the world, especially various parts of the United States, but I recommend a full face helmet just because it's gonna make your audio clarity that much better. And we'll get into that later. I have a showy Neotech 2 helmet here. It is a modular helmet. That made my gear list a little bit different. So I'm gonna give you items that you'll need for a modular helmet as well as a standard full face helmet. So once you got your helmet, the next thing you're going to need is an action camera. On my helmet here, I am using a GoPro Hero 8. This is the GoPro Hero 8 Black. I have it hooked up to a mount here, which I will have linked below as well. And I have to use a microphone adapter. There are a few different ways you can get audio into your GoPro. There is the media mod kit, there is secondary lavalier microphone recording, or there's just plugging it directly into the GoPro, which I found to be just kind of the easiest and the best quality. Speaking of audio, you will need a microphone. As you can see here, I have a cable coming off of my helmet that goes inside, wires up through the cheek pads, and there's a little mic right here. This is what captures my audio to my camera, and this is the mic that captures audio to my Bluetooth communication device. If you want to film similar to how I film my moto vlogs, I have a dual camera system. So I have the first person point of view camera on my helmet, and then I have the second person point of view camera on my handlebars. And there's a few ways you can do that dynamic. Let me show you. My standard handlebar camera setup is just this little clamp here, and it's a GoPro Hero 9. The reason I use the Hero 9 instead of an 8 or, well, I use the 9 because I haven't bought any newer one yet, but this door right here makes this camera waterproof, water resistant. So I do not film audio on this camera. This is strictly for video footage. I have this little clamp also linked down below and I just clamp it onto any handlebar I have. It has multiple elbows and joints. So you can get any kind of dynamic filming that you need. This is one option, another action camera. If you are looking for a little bit more dynamic options, you can get yourself a 360 camera. Let me take this off and show you. So the 360 camera, the one I'm using here is the Insta360 ONE X2. I kind of like this camera better than any of their others that they've come out with just because of the simple size. This camera can mount onto any kind of bar. You can place this anywhere on your motorcycle if you have the clamp that I just showed you on this camera. So once I have these hooked together, this extends. And you can put this at any point on your motorcycle. The 360 camera has two lenses, one on the front and one on the back. So you don't really have to worry about where the camera is pointing. It's going to film simultaneously 360 degrees. I think this is a great option if you want to film nonchalantly, but if you have a point of focus, like you just want to focus on yourself, I think the standard action camera is going to be your best bet quality is a lot better and way easier to edit. This has quite a bit of a editing learning curve. I'm trying to get this video out to you guys earlier in the holiday season here in 2022 so you can take advantage of Black Friday deals. So like I said, links will be down below. Some of them will be affiliate links, which means I will earn a small percentage of anything you purchase and it is at no additional cost to you. So happy shopping. Next, if you're gonna start a motorcycle YouTube channel in 2022, you are going to need to edit your video footage. I personally use the Adobe Premiere Pro software because I use all of the Adobe software. That is not what you need to edit. You can edit on your phone, your laptop, your iMac, your iPad. You can edit on anything you want to. iMovie is excellent. And there are loads of free editing software out there for you to use. I will say, if you have never edited footage before, there are tons of resources on YouTube. That's how I learned and there will be a learning curve. So start in smaller video segments um, and practice that way. Learn how to cut and how to transition and that'll be the easiest way 
to learn how to edit YouTube videos. Let's talk about the settings I use on my action cameras and how I can try to get the best quality possible in all of my motorcycle YouTube videos. Unlike a lot of people, I actually only film in 2.7K on my vlog camera here. You gotta think about it, this is going to be on my helmet. The reason I film at a lower resolution is because one, it takes up less space, and two, it's a vlog. We're typically moving at 60 to 80 miles per hour, and the things that fly by me aren't really going to be that great of quality anyway. So I'll show you my settings here. Um, be ready to take a screenshot of this screen if you are interested in my exact settings. There we go. That's probably the best I can show you. I film in 2.7K at 60 frames per second. I do use a higher frame rate on my front facing camera because if something passes me quickly, I can turn my head fast and 60 frames per second will probably get me a pretty good screen grab if I need to. The lens mode, I use Super View. That is the widest view standard on these cameras without having to add an additional lens. And I've never really had an issue with it. I always use Super View on my cameras. I also use the Hyper Smooth Boost, especially on my camera and on the handlebar camera when it's looking back at me. I ride shaky Harley Davidsons, there's wind buffeting, this thing is always moving. So having the boost on helps smooth the quality of the video. So for the ProTune settings, I leave everything basically standard. I don't do a whole lot of color correction in my videos at the end unless it's a very gray, dreary day. Otherwise, the GoPro just does a pretty good job. And those are my settings. This is my helmet camera. The one thing I did want to note about my helmet camera, and like I said, I do not enjoy using a media mod kit on these cameras specifically for a multitude of reasons. So if you can see here on the side, there is a little side door. This opens to access the battery. When I close this, there's a little window here, the input for the mic adapter. That means this is not waterproof. So if you do film with this style, I am warning you right now, take it off when you are riding through the rain because it'll fry your GoPro. On top of the video quality that I film at, you guys, this is very important if you are planning on filming with your helmet camera, you are going to need a good micro SD card. Trying to get this to focus is hilarious. I use a 256 SanDisk SD card. Um, get yourself a high quality SD card and you are less likely to corrupt your footage. I do not keep my raw footage. I delete it as soon as my videos go live on YouTube, which is probably not a very good quality for me to have, but it takes up a lot of space on these little cameras. This is a lot of information. Now, this is some of the software that I use while editing my YouTube videos that I think are going to be incredibly beneficial to you, especially if you are starting out. The number one program and software that I do pay monthly for is Epidemic Sound. This is not sponsored by Epidemic Sound, but I have never had any demonetization acts against me when I try to put music in my YouTube videos. If you guys are interested, I will have a free 30 day link down in the description and that'll get you 30 days of access to some of the best royalty free music I've ever had on the internet. Another tool that I use for all of my YouTube videos, literally every single one is in uh, it's a plugin called Tube Buddy. You can download it on your phone as well as install it to your Firefox browser on your computer. Basically, Tube Buddy is a tool that allows me to test out different thumbnails. I can do keyword research to see who is searching for certain things on the internet, as well as I can do the best search optimization to every single YouTube video. That means all of my titles, all of my thumbnails, the keywords, and the about section, the description of every video is in sync and working together. So when people are on Google or YouTube searching for specific things, my video is the best optimized to be found in search results. There is a free version available. I used the free version for years, never had any issues. And it has like hands down been one of the things that I have used from the very beginning of starting my channel that I still use to this day every single video. There is a link down to that below. It also tracks your milestones such as subscribers, video uploads, and video views highly recommend TubeBuddy. Once again, not sponsored. If you have any questions on anything I discussed in this video, please leave a comment down below. I will be going through the comments and answering as much as possible, which I don't really get to do in every single video. So if this if this is the time you want to get a hold of me, comment below, 
let me know your question and I will do my best to get back to you. If you are interested in how I actually install my helmets with all of the gear I use to film, you can check that video out right here. I have made quite a few, so do take your time, browse through, and let me know if you have any questions about those topics as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I can't wait to see the content you create in 2023. You be good and I'll see you later.